I so saw a pair of brand new headlamp fixtures on Amazon for $130 for the pair and I'm going to replace them with my old sun washed, sun damaged ones here. So the process is the same for every car. It takes about two hours and some minimal work in removing the bumper. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So all bumpers are basically the same on these Acura Integras and also on these Hondas. And they're basically held in by these plastic fasteners. So you see these round plastic fasteners all over. No. Interesting aspect of this is that my bumper is held up by 15 of these plastic fasteners and only two screws on the side. So let me go ahead and uh, show you how to do that. So I'm simply going to use a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to lift these up on the edges first the top cap and then the bottom and I'm just gonna do it again right here so these you could get in on Amazon.com I'll have a link in the description area for these replacement plastic fasteners you could use the old ones but um, also get new ones just in case you need them so just check out the link in the description area of this video and you'll see that I have all 15 removed after I have all of these plastic fasteners removed on the top I'm just gonna remove this top panel here and wiggle it out uh, gently so it just comes out just like that and the bumper itself now is just held in by two screws on the side and once I remove those two screws on the side I'm merely gonna unsnap the bumper so let me go ahead bolt right near the fender here as you can see so they're on both sides, one on the passenger and driver side, and you just have to remove these two bolts. I do want to mention there are actually two additional bolts at the bottom that hold up the splash guard, but these are actually unnecessary to remove because I'm, I'm not removing the entire bumper. I, I just have to remove enough for the headlamp and I can pull down the bumper for access to the headlamp fixtures. So before you pull off the bumper, you want to make sure to unhook all the electrical lights. So for example, I have the fog light there way at the bottom and also the electrical lights at the top. So I'm going to remove all of those lights and all of the connections here so that when I pull off the bumper, the fog lamps uh, won't be in the way. So let me go ahead now after I've removed all of the light connections to pull off the bumper. So you start at the fender near the wheel of the base of the wheel and you just tug on that and it just comes off. So you notice the snap-ins that are actually holding it on. Uh, to the side here there's a few of those snap-ins and you, you see the fasteners also. So it is completely just a pop-up or, or you know, a pop-in and a snap-in. And you can see just with a little more strength and it doesn't take a lot of strength to tug on it to, to actually have the top of the bumper now you know all the way off and you'll notice if I zoom in at the bottom you, you'll see pieces that I did not disconnect so I didn't disconnect those bolts at the bottom so let me zoom in here and, and give you a closer look at the fasteners on the side and you'll see here I did not disconnect those, but those are just merely plastic pieces at the bottom connecting to just mud guards or dust guards. So here's an up close look of the metal sort of snap in pieces where the edge of the top portion of the bumper snaps into. So you see those holes really snap into and under those metal bars under, under the uh, headlamps there. So that's what those are there for, just giving you a close up so you have a good feel for how the, how, how the bumper actually snaps in place at the top. The headlamp itself requires two bolts at the top that you have to remove. So you can see the two bolts there, or the two bolt holes, and the two bolts that I'm going to be removing from the top. And also at the bottom there's two bolts and one on the side. So you see the two bolts at the bottom, and then there's one to the side that's actually attached to that metal frame there that you're going to have to remove. So before you remove the headlamp fixture, you really want to remove the lights. So you want to push down at the very edge of the bottom of the clip and then wiggle it down. So it's, it's going to sometimes be held on a little bit tight. So you do want to push down at the edge. So you see this blue light, I'm going to do the same thing. Push down at the bottom edge and then simply wiggle off the connection there. So I'm going to push down 
and you notice I'm having a little bit trouble, but I'm going to push down and then also wiggle it off. So once you remove the bolts, you want to remove the entire bar that connects the two headlamps. So you're just going to wiggle it off and you'll need two people here because they're just fastened in place. You don't want to actually drop this piece and this is how it looks when it's removed. So now you're just doing everything in reverse order here. You see I have the headlamps in place. You can see it's nice and beautiful and uh, brand new there with the cellophane still on. And on the other side you'll see this. there's the bar and here's my brand new headlamps. And the thing about this is you also just snapping in the bumper here. So let me go ahead and show you the snap-ins for the bumper just to give you a clearer view of all of the notches and holes. That, and you'll see those are the guiding, guiding fasteners there and also the snap-in fasteners. And also those are the holes for the plastic top fasteners that I'll, I'll have a link in the description area of this video for those fasteners there that you could buy on Amazon. Now just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison here of the old and new, <laughs> Man, you can see that. that's the cracked one no. with the sun damage. And here's the zoomed in new one. As you can see, it looks great. And I hope this helped and please subscribe and thank you for watching. Well, it's, it's easy. I, I bet you if it was the fall, we, we would have saved an hour because it was kind of hot.